What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Roman, back at it again with another video. And in today's video, we got a new package. So let's open it up and see what's inside. It's my Nerdax Gamma. Side of the box. I got this from a company called Bitronics. I think they're located in Europe or Spain. This does about 1.2 terahash. The Nerd QX Plus does 2.5 terahash. Box is a little damaged, but hopefully it still works. I'm guessing this is the power supply. And uh, this is the power supply for um, the Nerdax. And I got a stand. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set everything up and grab my computer and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're back. So I went and got a screwdriver. I went and got my laptop. So let's open this up and set it up. This is supposed to be the Nerd Axe Gamma. On the box, it just says regular Nerd Axe. So I hope they gave me the right one. So I'm gonna plug it in, set it up, and let's see what happens. I think in order to um, put the, uh, the case on, I'm gonna have to take this screen off.
So it should fail to connect to the previous Wi-Fi and then give me a new Wi-Fi. There we go. So I just created a new Wi-Fi um, portal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my computer, grab my Bitcoin address and connect it. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so once you connect to your NerdAxis Wi-Fi, it'll automatically open up a web page like this. Then on the left side, you wanna click settings. You wanna look for Wi-Fi SSID and you wanna type in your Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi password, your Wi-Fi password, stratum URL, is the pool address that you're mining to. I'm currently mining to my own Apollo 2. So that's my address right there, your stratum port. Stratum user is your Bitcoin address. And you type in your password. Frequency and core voltage is for overclocking and underclocking. I currently don't know anything about that. So I'm just gonna leave as it is. You can flip the screen if you like. Automatic fan control, I have mine on. When you're done, just click save restart and then we'll, we'll restart the device once the device is restarted it'll give you a new IP address right there 192.168.1.155 so once you get that IP address you can just type it into your web browser like I have right here you go on your dashboard and it'll show you all the information. It'll show you the hash rate, what's your expected hash rate, how many shares you submitted, how many has been rejected, the efficiency and best difficulty. So far, in order to hit a Bitcoin block, you need to mine over 123 trillion. That has to be the best difficulty to hit a block. Mine has been 165 billion on this Apollo 2. I currently have some miners off because the fan noise is getting kind of crazy. So I'm gonna turn them on after this video. Currently just have 9.31 terahash going. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to just let the video play out for a couple more minutes. So you guys can see the hash rate increase and my shares increase. And hey, you might even see me hit a block. To see your logs, just go to system, show logs. And I'll show you all the information, what's going on in the background in case you need it. So that's pretty much it. Let me show you guys the device again. It's just a it's just a Bitax Gamma with the Lily Gold screen that was found in a Nerd Miner. Just an upgraded version of the original Nerd Axe. I have that right here. This is rare. Not that many people have this one. My screen's cracked, but it's all good. Still works. And uh, one feature, a few features of the Nerd Miners, sorry, of the Nerd Axe versus the regular Bit Axe. Obviously, it has a bigger screen, but you can click the screen and you can change it and show you different, different uh, information and stats. So you can see your pool URL. You can see your shares, accepted and rejected, your port, your hash rate, best difficulty. This will show the Bitcoin price. And the temperature, how many giga hash. So this one will show the, the halving, 25% till next halving. It'll show the, the Bitcoin block, how many blocks have been uh, mined so far. The best difficulty, like I was telling you, 123 trillion. And yeah, just the regular page. Your best difficulty, your giga hash currently, temperature, fan speed, the BM1370 chip and watts per terahash. So this is supposed to do about 1.2 terahash. My current Nerd Axe is doing 380 giga hash. So you can see the big difference there. And that's pretty much it, guys.
I am going to do the unboxing and review of the Mary QX Plus in the next video. So I'd appreciate if you guys gave this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment. And let me know what devices you're mining with. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to let it just play out for a bit. Have yourself a good day. Thank you for watching. Peace. This usually takes about uh, 10 minutes for it to get like 1.2 terahash. So I'm really not going to waste your time with this video. It's probably going to be over 10 minutes right now. So just trust me when I say it works. All right. So again, give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're mining with, what devices you have. And um, if you're going to be ordering anything in the future, I'd love to communicate with you. All right, guys. Later.